a call went out for extension agents, volunteers, and anyone involved in agriculture to lend a hand in cleanup efforts at UK's Research and Education Center. Debris scattered all over these fields where specialists conduct research on small grains and other crops could be compromised. That's why Davis County Extension Agent Clint Hardy, other agents and volunteers fanned out over the fields. It's a lot of cleanup, a lot of large items, uh, but then there's also a lot of just small debris scattered throughout the entire property. So uh, knowing that the staff here, uh, the specialist and, and, and the staff was going to be overwhelmed with just trying to get their own things back in order, uh, we quickly volunteered to be of service uh, to come out and help remove some of the debris from these fields. The Research and Education Center sits on more than 1,000 acres. It will take a while for buildings to be rebuilt, but the goal is to restore fields now before the arrival of spring. We're eight weeks away now from spring green up and everything beginning to come back. And you know, this stuff, if it's not picked up in the next three to four weeks, it's gonna disappear in the vegetation. Over nine miles of fencing on the research farm was lost in the tornado, and fortunately only 10 animals from the beef herd were destroyed as a result of injuries. Beef handling facilities on the farm sustained substantial damage, but plans are to rebuild and restore better than it was before. So while we're, we're still assessing uh, the, the full extent of the damages here and, and figuring out how exactly we're going to rebuild. Um, we're, we're moving forward with optimism knowing that, that we are going to rebuild and we will be back. The beef unit at Princeton is a 100% fall calving herd and ear tags on the cows will provide animal behavior data right up to the tornado's point of impact. From the University of Kentucky College of Agriculture, Food, and Environment, I'm Jeff Franklin.